Right then, everybody, it looks like Sunderland have finally made a signing in this window. Leeds have accepted a bid from Sunderland on an undisclosed fee for Leo Hielder. He is a left-sided defender. He's only 20-year-old. He's a Norwegian international and is the youngest ever Norwegian to play in the Premier League. Now, before I get on with this rest of this video, please smash the thumbs up like you did in the last one and subscribe if you're brand new when closing in our 10,000 subscribers. 10,000, I can't even... Pfft, mental. Also, in this video, I'm at Diallo Rumours regarding a post he liked on social media last night and also Kiefer Moore we're going to be talking about in this one. So stay tuned for that one. Now, Hielder, what do we know about him? Like I said, he's a Norwegian international from under-16s to under-21s currently. The player has said himself he does like to play at left-back, but his favourite position is centre-back. He likes to get up and down the wing. He said he's really, really quick and very good in 1v1s. So that's really good. It's covering two positions with Sirkin out injured. Huggins likes to play right back, predominantly left back. Obviously, he's injured. Aji's injured as well. He likes to play a centre half, but he can play a left back as well. So this this is a really good addition to the squad. He can, like I say, he's a versatile left sided defender. Another good thing we're starting to add a little bit height to our squad. He held his six foot two, playing on the left side. Celtic got him from Rosenberg. <laughs> Then he went out on loan to Ross County. Hmm. I remember a certain player who we got from Ross County. He got, he got one goal in any way about that, that loan spell there. Then Leeds came in and signed him on a four-year deal. Then they loaned him out to Rotherham. And he's been there and he made 13 appearances. Any Leeds and Rotherham supporters, can you comment on this video and let us know what type of player are we expecting? And is he any good? Can he cover it in the championship? For Leeds, he made his debut in a 2-0 defeat against West Ham. Um... In the FA Cup, he played for Leeds again against West Ham, but this time it was in the Premier League, and they won 3-2. That's how he got this record of being the youngest Norwegian ever to play in the Premier League. So there, that's it. I'm, I'm quite happy with this player coming in. Like you see, it's covering two positions. He looks what I've seen. I know highlights aren't he highlights the good parts of a game, but he, he does look decent. He really does. I'll put a few highlights in in. in this video also. Now, quickly, Ahmad Diallo. Right. Now, we all watched Man United's game against Newport. Well, I'm assuming you did. I did anyway. And Ahmad was an unused substitute, even though Anthony was diabolical. He didn't get even brought on. Now, after the game, somebody tweeted out, um, Ahmad, come back home. Come back where you belong, where you wanted, basically. I can't believe you didn't even get a game, uh, any minutes at all against Newport in the Cup. You'll get, you'll come back here where you wanted. Uh, just something like that. And tongue in cheek, really. And I'm at Diallo liked it. And Sunderland went into meltdown, including myself, because you know what I'm like. Any little bit of hope of getting that boy back, I'll be absolutely buzzing. I'll be bouncing off all the walls. But in any way, he liked that tweet. So what does that say? Does that say he wants to now move on to Sunderland? He did say he's going to try and break into the Man United team, which is all fair enough. But if he's not even getting used in the FA Cup game against Newport County, he's best off coming here for his own development. Then, in any way, another player was Kiefer Moore. We've all seen the rumours that Bournemouth says they're going to keep him, but now more rumours have surfaced, according to The Athletic, that it's changed. Now Bournemouth want to move him on near the end of this window. So well, that opened the doors for us and our Ipswich interested in, in him as well. But it looks like they're going after that EFC Wimbledon striker. I can't pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try and butcher it. They're going after him. He does look like a good prospect. So it looks like they're, they're pinning the hopes on getting him. Me personally, I would like Moa to come in. He's obviously a big, massive unit. And it'd be an ideal focal point to, to play off. Now, comment below and let us know what your thoughts on these players Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next video.